Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science. In this video, let's learn about the parts of a plant. We'll learn about the roots, stems, and the leaves. Let's get started. I'd like to talk about the roots of a plant. The roots of a plant are important because it helps anchor a plant in the ground and it also helps to absorb water and nutrients. There are at least two main types of roots. A taproot system consists of a long, thick root, and then you have branching roots that grow off this main root. The second type is called a fibrous root system, and it consists of several main roots that branch repeatedly, and it ends up forming a mass of roots. Let's take a look at the structure of a root. Notice that the root is kind of pointed. At the end, it is covered with a structure called a root cap. The root cap consists of dead cells and it protects the root from other rocks and material as it grows into the soil. Root hairs grow out of the surface of the root, and these hairs increase the surface area and allows the root to absorb more water and nutrients. In the middle of the root are vascular tissue and vascular tissues are transportation, kind of like the veins and arteries inside of us. There are two main types. First, xylem transport water from the root to the rest of the plant. On the other hand, phloem tissue transports food manufactures in the leaves to the root. The root tissues may then use the food for growth or store it for future use for the plant. So there we have a typical root of a plant. It's more complicated than you may think, and it helps keep the plant alive and anchored. But the stem of a plant. Stems are very important to the plant, and they carry a couple important functions. First, they carry substances between the plant's roots and leaves. Stems also provide support for the plant and holds up the leaves so they are exposed to the sun. In addition, some stems may store food. Stems come in various shapes and sizes. Some of the stems, like of trees, are very prominent. Other stems, like those of cabbage, are short and hidden. Stems can be either herbaceous or woody. Herbaceous stems are soft like the stems of many of the flowers. Woody stems are very firm and rigid, like those of trees. Stems consist of phloem and xylem. Phloem move materials from the leaves and other parts of the plant, and xylem move water from the roots to the other parts of the plant. However, in woody stems, you have an outer layer called bark. Just inside the phloem is a layer of cells called the cambium. The cambium divide to produce new phloem and xylem. If you look at the xylem and phloem of a dicot, you will see that they are arranged in a ring. With a monocot, they are scattered throughout. There we have the stem of a plant. It's important for support, transportation, and storage. The leaves of plants vary in size and shape. For example, pine trees are needle-shaped. The leaves of a birch tree are small and rounded. But they all have one thing in common. Leaves play an important role for the plant because they capture the sun's energy and carry out the food making process of photosynthesis. If you look at a cross section of a typical leaf, you will find some of the following. First, you will find a waxy waterproof coating that covers the leaf surface. This is called the cuticle. Underneath that, you will find surface cells. Next, you have the upper leaf cells, also called the palisades mesophyll. And what they do, they contain chloroplasts and they trap the energy in sunlight for the process of photosynthesis. 
below those you have the lower leaf cells called the spongy mesophyll and there are many spaces between the lower leaf cells and they temporarily store carbon dioxide and oxygen. Underneath the leaf you have stomata and they are tiny pores that open for carbon dioxide to enter and oxygen can escape. And running through a leaf you have the transportation systems of xylem which carry water from the roots and phloem which carries the food made during photosynthesis to the rest of the plant. Photosynthesis is a process in which the chlorophyll which is found in the leaf exchanges carbon dioxide that enters the stomata. It's mixed with water that's absorbed from the roots combined with the sun and sugar and oxygen are then produced from the carbon dioxide and water. The oxygen passes out of the leaf through the open stomata and the sugar enters the phloem and then travels throughout the plant. So there we go, a leaf of a typical plant.